Hello, Troop 516. This is Mr. Duncan, the fourth best knot tire in the troop. And I wanted to show you one of my favorite videos. This is called Follow Me Boys. It was made back in the 1960s by the Disney Corporation, Walt Disney. It stars a very young Kurt Russell and a man named Fred McMurray. Generally, this, this movie is about this character, Fred McMurray's character, he was a, a traveling musician. He got sick of doing that, and so one day he decided to get off the bus and stay in a small town, and uh, he fell in love with a beautiful young woman that uh, worked at the local drugstore, and uh, he eventually became scoutmaster of a, a fledgling Boy Scout troop that the town put together to help the uh, teenage boys kind of stay out of trouble. Well, like all good Disney movies, about halfway through the movie, there's a, there's a disturbance, there's a ruckus, and the scoutmaster gets caught up in it, and he gets arrested. And as uh, he tries to tell the sheriff that he's uh, not got anything to do with it, that he's a trustworthy, helpful guy, remember all the points of the scout law, the sheriff says, well, prove to me that you're the scoutmaster. And uh, Fred McMurray's character says, well, how would I do that? And the sheriff says, well, tie me a sheep shank knot. I had never heard of a sheep shank knot. Well, he hadn't either in the movie. He couldn't do it, so he got to spend the night in jail. <laughs> well, but as all good Disney movies go, uh, it all worked out in the end. He was released, he wasn't guilty, and everybody lived happily ever after, and he went down as a uh, local hero of the community. But after watching this movie, I decided I needed to learn how to tie the sheep shank knot just in case I ever got tied up in a ruckus and needed to prove that I was <laughs> A scout leader. Um, I've got a copy here of the 1949 edition of the Scout Manual. And on page 96, there's four little terrible drawings of how to tie the sheep shank knot. Uh, I don't think I could do it based on these pictures. And unlike every single knot in this manual other than the sheep shank knot, there's not a bit of a description or what you would use it for. So it must not have been a very uh, uh, valuable scouting knot all the way back in 1949, and it's not in your book today. It's not a required knot. This is what you're going to call an extra credit knot. This is, a, this is a bragging rights knot, and a knot you can keep in your toolkit in case you ever get in a ruckus and need to show somebody that you're a scout. So, let's look at how to tie the sheep shank knot. I'm gonna go real slow and show you how the, the knot comes together just here on my workbench, and then I'll show you how I would tie it maybe in the field. As best I can determine, the only time you would use a sheep shank knot is when you wanted to shorten a rope without cutting it because it serves the purpose of making a rope shorter. I'll show you how that works. The way it begins is you make an overhand loop on that side and an overhand loop on the left-hand side. The next thing you're gonna do is make a double bite. I'm going to make two bends in the middle of the rope. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bite and stick it through that hole and snug it up a bit. And I'm going to take this bite and stick it through that hole and snug it up a bit. So put this one through, snug it up a little bit, put this one through that side. And snug it up a bit and then we can pull it apart and that is a sheep shank one of the world's most useless knots an extra credit knot a bragging rights knot and maybe a way to shorten a length of rope that you don't want to cut let's do it again Take my long piece of rope, 
Make a loop on one side, on the right hand side. Make a loop on the left hand side. Then I'm going to make a double bite. See there? I'm going to take that bite and stick it through that hole and snug it up. Take that bite through that hole, snug it up. And you pull it apart, and that is a sheep shank. I wonder why they called it that. That doesn't look at all like a sheep to me. Well, then you might say, oh, Mr. Duncan, Mr. Duncan, Mr. Duncan, that looks like it would come loose. What happens if this loop slips through that hole? Well, that's where these little sticks come in. I can put a stick through that bite and a stick through that bite, and that will never come loose. Now, out in the field, we would use larger sticks that are much stronger. These are just some twigs I found laying in the front yard today. But you can see how that would work. You could even put a carabiner here and a carabiner there, and those uh, uh, the bites will not slip back through those loops, and it would remain as a, uh, a secure knot. Well, but Mr. Duncan, Mr. Duncan, what if I don't have your workbench to work on out in the field? What would I do? Well, I'm going to show you how to do it without laying it on the table. And with some practice, you'll be able to do it. This is the way I do it. I just kind of hold it around my fingers and I make my loops. Now I'm going to reach through this loop with my fingers and grab the rope on that side. I'm going to reach through this side with those fingers and grab the loop on the other side and kind of pull it together and there's your sheep shank that's kind of way you would do it in the field let's do that again kind of hold my rope like this make my loops then we'll reach through each hole and go to the other side This takes practice, y'all. There you go. There's your sheep shank. If you practice, you'll get it. Practice makes perfect. So, that's the sheep shank knot. I had never heard of it before I saw this video. But you know, I think Mr. Coderre knows how to tie this knot too. Mr. Coderre is one of the best knot tires I have ever seen. You know, he's your scout master. He's a lot better knot tire than me. He, uh, he's taught me a whole bunch of knots. I think he told me once that he studied knots in college. He might be the only one. He taught me the knots that I use to hot tie my hammock up to a tree when I'm out camping. And he also gave me a lot of tips on how to splice a neat kind of rope called am steel. It's a synthetic rope. It floats, but it's stronger than steel. Next time you see either me or Mr. Uh, Coderre hanging in our hammocks, or even Gabe or some of the other guys, ask us to show you some of our am steel splicing. Maybe show you a thing called a whoopee sling. Mr. Coderre is a really good knot tired, way better than me. I'm only the fourth best. You all have a good night. Practice the sheep shank. It's an extra credit knot. Bye bye.